saltwater aquarium, I would scoop that guy up. Look at him, huh? My root, 75 saltwater at the surface. <laughs> don't worry, I've never seen them this big. Over 100 freshwater, a pink tail. Normally you don't see in a local fish store. Two bags for speed. Saltwater Ohana. Aloha, my Ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater or saltwater, koi and goldfish ponds, local fish store tours, fish rescues, DIY projects, and product reviews in the hobby. Now, I'm super excited for this video, Ohana, because guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna finish setting up the saltwater aquarium. Now, I know you guys have been asking a lot of questions, leaving a lot of comments on the YouTube channel about the saltwater aquarium. Well, stay tuned because today's the day. And what other place to start this journey of my saltwater addiction? because it's going to be an addiction, but here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot, Jason and Jeff, they're the ones who really got me started. It was the first local fish store that I actually bought my first freshwater fish from, so it only makes sense to come back here, my roots, and get my saltwater fish. Now, Aquarium and Reptile Depot have over 75 saltwater aquariums, which means big selection, all sizes, and very reasonable pricing. Now, if you guys are curious on what I'm gonna pick up for my 10 gallon nano saltwater aquarium, I did a video months ago. I'll put a card up above, click that card, go check out that video, because in that video, I give you top five picks for a 10 gallon nano saltwater aquarium. And out of those five that are in that video, uh, there's a couple that I'm gonna pick up on that list. So go ahead, go check out that video and then come back and check out your boy in this video. See what we ultimately pick up. So when you walk into Aquarium and Reptile Depot, I can never just walk by this aquarium and not say something about it. This is the Red Sea S1000. Look at this beauty, man. I got to see this thing when they first started it. Now look at it. The fish, the corals, everything's looking nice. Also in the front of the store is this beautiful 300 gallon monster fish aquarium. Sorry for the glares, we can zoom in. They got some beautiful severums. Look at the severums here. Love the Tementus Peacock Bass though. Look at that beauty, huh? That dude right there, if I had the room, I'm telling you, I would scoop that guy up. They have a couple Oscars in here too as well. Look at this. Ocelaris peacock bass, huh? That is a beauty. Now, if you guys have no idea you're new to my channel, they also have a P500 Red Sea. That's a peninsula right over here that they're converting into a fresh water aquarium. Now, when I say convert, I don't mean convert. It's actually a brand new aquarium setup. They're doing real live plants. They have a beautiful substrate. It's all Ultim Nature System substrate, which is the Pontra soil. Now, we're gonna go check it out. Beautiful piece of driftwood in there. Like this tank behind me, this Red Sea is the S1000. This is gonna be the P500. Little bit smaller, smaller scale, still beautiful with a beautiful stand. We're gonna go check it out, fresh water. They haven't even added fish, right? They're doing a dry start with a carpet. So they're working on the carpet right now, but uh, we're gonna go to sneak peek. We got to see this thing slowly start to grow into itself. So let's go check it out. This is the P500 Red Sea. Now you can see they have the plastic cover over the top, keeps the humidity inside the aquarium. And you can see this beautiful carpet starting to grow in. This is Monte Carlo or Monte Carlo, however you wanna say it. But you can see it's starting to come in. Love this big, beautiful piece of driftwood. We're gonna go here and get a side angle of it, all right? Hopefully there's not that bad of a glare. Uh, it's not that bad. Not that bad of a glare, but you can see, look at this. Ooh wee, contra soil. It's like 100 pounds of contra soil in here. Nice, beautiful piece of driftwood. Let's go around to the front. You can see right now, ooh wee, huh? That carpet looking nice. Love this big piece of driftwood. This big piece of driftwood actually breaks the surface. So this is gonna be a really nice setup once it's done. I love the way they incorporated the rock actually inside the wood, which I think the reason why they did that was to weight down the wood once they fill it up with water. That'll keep the wood from floating and moving around, but what a great setup, huh? Let me just walk back a little bit so you guys get it's full Monty, but look at that setup, huh? Love it, man. This thing is 
beautiful. When you first walk in, boom, the S500, boom, 300 gallon monster fish tank, boom, we got this beautiful S1000 Red Sea Saltwater Coral Reef Aquarium. Speaking of corals, Ohana, look at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. They have a huge selection of corals for all my saltwater geeks out there, which you know, that's me too. I'm a geek, saltwater geek. I am gonna be introduced into the saltwater geek family. Look at on the other side there, more corals. Sorry, I didn't bring my lens to uh, get rid of that blue light, but I just wanna show you that they have a ton of corals. I love these viewing bowls, I guess you can say. Look at that, huh? See, you just place it on top and then you get to view the corals up close, personal, without any ripples in the water. Sorry, that lighting there is right in the way. Super cool though, look at that, huh? Pretty neat, huh? Anyways, if you ever see these viewing bowls, that's what they're for. They place them right here on the side of the acrylic aquarium, flip them over and check out your corals. And they also have over 100 freshwater aquariums too. So you talk about selection, Aquarium and Reptile Depot here in Citrus Heights has all the selection. We got an aquarium here full of beautiful blood parrot cichlids. Right above them, check it out, some royal clown knife fish with a beautiful arowana. That's a silver arowana right there, huh? Right next to him, look at this beautiful albino silver arowana. Look at that beauty, huh? You talk about the dragon, look at him, huh? And then right next to him, check this out, a beautiful blue arowana. Yeah, look at him. He is just at the surface waiting to get his grind on. Beautiful. They have a ton of Oscars here too as well. They even have some baby Jaguar cichlids here too as well. Right behind me here is a couple fish that you guys normally don't see in a local fish store, but here at Aquarium Depot they have them. Check it out. Look at that beauty, huh? OMGZ. That is the beautiful pink tail Chalcius. Look at that, huh? And then right behind him swimming around, look at this beauty. Right there. That is a saber tusk. Look at that. Ooh, look how quick. You already know that fish right there is built for speed. He's in the need. The need for speed. Ow! In this aquarium right here, look at We got some peacock bass. Check them out. Oh, yeah, we see you guys. They're trying to hide. They're trying to be sneaky. I'm not sure if they're Ocellaris peacock bass, but they have some baby peacock bass here. You want to see something that's really mesmerizing? Look at that, huh? Look at these iridescent sharks, mesmerizing as they just group up in school here in the corner. Look at them, mesmerizing. I can sit here and just, you know, gaze into their eyes. <laughs> They'll put me to sleep watching these guys do this over and over and over again. I'm hardly ever here on the weekends, meaning Saturday or Sunday. Today's a Sunday. This place is jam packed. Let me just walk through and show you the line on just purchasing fish. This is one of the rows of the salt water tanks. Another row here. As you can see, the customers are just lined up here all the way down. Let me show you guys the line just to get fish. That is the line right there. Look at that. You see up there that little box? Aquatics line starts here. <laughs> Look at it which is really cool, man. This makes me happy. Lots of love and support here locally. Take a top shot here. Man. For my African cichlid lovers, you already know, peacocks and haps, they have a big selection here. Ooh, some, I don't know, yellow jakes maybe, OBs, blood dragons, dragon bloods, however you wanna say it, it's all good. Look at, right next to this tank here. Boom, we got some more African cichlids, some small little frontosa. Love these guys, looks like Le Lupi. Yeah, Le Lupi in here too as well. Uh, you're into aquatic plants, they have a huge selection of freshwater aquarium plants. As you see, the aquariums go on and on. Wow, they've been selling a lot, but you can see their selection of aquatic plants it's almost endless. I just bumped into my boy Adrian. Big shout out to Adrian. Big fan of the channel. But not only that, he's a big fan of Aquarium and Reptile Depot. So, Brada Adrian, if you're watching this video, you know we just met. Hey, much love, Brada. It was nice meeting you. 
I love meeting my old Hana, so check it out, guys. Listen, listen, listen. If you guys ever see me out and about in a local fish store, out in public, come up and say hi because of you, the old Hana. You guys are the driving force behind my channel. You guys are the one that inspire me to create more content for YouTube. So don't be shy, all right? Come up, say hi, give your boy some love, and I'm gonna give you love right back. Here is another beautiful Red Sea Display Aquarium, saltwater with the corals and saltwater aquarium fish in there. Look at that, huh? Check out the setup down below, huh? Look at that sump. It looks like a DJ booth, right? Look at that, man. Bells and whistles, are you kidding me? But I think this one here is the, if I was to guess, it's the S500, maybe the S650, 550. It's one of those S's. All I know is this thing is, that's beautiful. You already know my channel is full of inspiration, right? I want to inspire you guys to maybe get into the fish keeping hobby or maybe step up your game to that next level of, uh, you know, fish keeping. Now, if you guys are setting up a brand new tank and you have no idea what type of concept or any ideas, I'm going to show you a couple of aquariums right now that are going to inspire you guys, all right? You're going to see these aquariums. You'll get some good ideas. Something will pop in your mind and your creative side will come out. So let me show you these beautiful setups. Check it out. Look at this aquarium, huh? Let's just start off with this piece of driftwood, guys. Look how it goes horizontal. I love how it goes horizontal and then it goes actually up and it rises above the top of the aquarium. Beautiful rimless aquarium, by the way. This is a JBJ aquarium, 45 gallon. And this light, man, look at that light, huh? What kind of light is this? Is this a, a oh my gosh, look at that. That's fancy right there when you got a little blinking light. That's an AI aqua illumination light. They sell everything here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. So if you love this setup, come on down and buy it. I mean, look at it. Let's talk about that scape now. Look at the substrate. Smaller pebble with flat slate at the bottom. It's a combination of both. That's a great aquarium to get inspired. Here's something that's a little bit bigger, another JBJ. This is a 65 gallon aquarium. Saltwater setup, you can see. Rimless, all in one. Look at this, has two AI lights. Boom, boom, huh? Aqua illumination is in the building, but just sets it off. Look at this entire setup. That is a beautiful setup, huh? And you can have that setup if you want it. Three G's, three racks, three bands, three grand. <laughs> You guys get the picture. Here's something a little smaller now. This is a JBJ. This is a 25 gallon tank. Rimless all in one. Of course, you got the AI aqua illumination light. Man, look at that thing. I love those lights, huh? Now look at this setup. I love the dragon stone. Check it out. They made little stepping stones over here on the left side and the right side, as you can see them. Look at that, huh? That's pretty sick with the black substrate. I love that setup, man. That's a great scape. Get inspired, Ohana, get inspired. Up here at the front, you have this beautiful freshwater aquarium. Uh, looks like it's filled with cardinal tetras, but a full-on live planted setup here with water and fish. Get some inspiration, some ideas. Beautiful saltwater aquarium with various corals and anemones. Look at that, with the clownfish in there. We see it, we see it. Now, if you guys are wondering if they actually sell aquariums or habitats, they do reptile habitats and all different size of aquariums. Let me flip the screen around and show you guys. Aquariums upon aquariums upon aquariums. They got fluvals over here on the left hand side. We have some custom size. We got aquions down over here, 180s, 210s with the stands. Look at that. Yep, they carry all different size. They got bio cubes there along the wall. Like I said, Fluval Aqua Top. Of course, they have the Red Seas and check it out. 10% off in stock Red Sea D1 Reefer Systems. They have the JBJ Rimless Flat Panel Aquariums. They have UNS Ultim Nature Systems Aquariums. They even have Paludarium setups for you guys too as well. Look at this ginormous 167 gallon water box setup. This thing is massive. They have the JBJ stands for your nano cubes. They have the Reefer 350s here, the Reefer 300s. Reefer 250s, 170s as we pan down. Oh, let me just shoot across this way. Don't forget the Zen habitats for your reptilians out there, huh? Check it out, they even have a leap, all of the sizes. These are beautiful 
reptile habitat enclosures. There's an example of the Zen habitats too. Very cool, shout out to my boy. You already know, Clifford, the turf junkie. They do carry zoo med as well as exoterra for all you reptilians out there. But not only that though, look at these huge paludarium setups that they have. Look at, they have it all. I'm telling you right now, Aquarium and Reptile Depot is pretty much your one-stop shop. They have livestock, they have setups, everything and anything you possibly need for your aquarium fish and reptile. It's so ironic that I was just showing you guys their complete stock of aquariums and aquarium stand. As I'm talking and shooting in the back over there, somebody made a pretty big purchase. Let's check it out. Look at this. This is a 125 gallon aquarium with the stand. Ooh, they are hooking it up. This is a big, beautiful Aquion, oh, 125 gallon aquarium. Man, I gotta find out what they're gonna stock this with. Is this yours? What are you gonna stock this with? I gotta know, man, I'm just curious. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. We got some big ones. Oh yeah, he's got some big fish. He's gonna stock it with bala sharks. He's got some aggressive fish. Oh man, this is awesome. I'm super jealous. I had to get nosy. I had to get nosy. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. I had to get nosy. This is the the buyer here of this beautiful setup, man. This guy scored. So jealous, man. So jealous, and I'm so happy for you at the same time. Oh yeah, this is a nice upgrade. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. They're gonna love it. All right, Ohana, so I'm in the far back of the store of Aquarium and Reptile Depot. I call this the little cubby hole. They have a bunch of different types of fish and you just don't know what you're gonna get. Now there's a huge fan blowing down the hallway right here, which is a game changer, I'm telling you. It feels really good. So uh, if you hear a background noise, it's because of this fan blowing. But let me show you some of the beautiful Oranda goldfish that they have. It's right over my shoulder here. Some diamonds. Ohana, check out this beautiful panda Oranda goldfish. All right, look at him, beautiful though. But they have some beautiful, these are extra large Oranda goldfish. Some beautiful tricolor ones. Look at this one here, huh? with the big bump on its forehead. OMGZ, love the colors. These right here, outstanding. And they pretty much have this aquarium devoted to the high fin banded sharks. Look at them all, huh? Of course, they got various goldfish in here too as well. But I mean, come on, look at them all. OMGZ, they have a short bodied flower horn. <laughs> look how pretty this guy is. A total short body. Hi, buddy. There we go. There we go. Look at him, huh? He's a gorgeous one. This guy is the comeback story of Aquarium and Reptile Depot. When he came to the store, he had zero fins. Nothing. Now they're starting to grow back. He's getting his health. So I was just asking a couple employees here. He would just waddle around in the aquarium. But now you can see he's got some growth on his pectoral fins and then his dorsal fins are starting to come in and his tail. This guy had no fins. Oh, rescue this guy. This is the comeback kid right here, Ohana. Come on down and save that guy. He's in the back, the cubby hole, the secret spot. Wait till I show you guys two fish that you rarely see in a local fish store, but like always, these guys always like pull a rabbit out of a hat. They have them here. There's two of them now. I'm gonna show you guys both um, just insane, super, I don't want to say rare, but not your common fish that you would buy or see at your local fish store. Check it out. Here it is. Look at that big boy right there. That is the African leaf fish. Now, he is actually pretty ginormous. I've never seen him this big before, but look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah, he knows what's up, too. He's checking. He's flexing for everybody. The African leaf fish. Look at him, he actually is mimicking a leaf at the top of the aquarium. Look at that, oh, just beautiful. I can video this guy all day because you hardly get to see these guys. And if you do, you don't get to see them this big. Now when I say big, he's probably around five and a half inches. Yeah, I would say between five to six inches. Big African leaf fish. And here's the other rare fish that I'm telling you about, Ohana. This is the black belt cichlid. For obvious reasons, you can see that black belt around its body. It gets super dark, but this guy looks, I mean, gorgeous in great immaculate shape. Look at him, huh? Let me zoom in on this guy. There we go. 
There we go, pretty boy. Look at him, huh? Yeah, he's a big one too. I want to say he's right around that nine. Yeah, about nine, ten inches. But look at that, huh? Look at his tail. Pretty cool, huh? The black belt cichlid. Oh, here, coming on this side here. There we go. Hi, what's up, buddy? Look at him. Woo! Like I said, Ohana, see, look at that big, powerful fan right there blowing some nice, cool air throughout the entire store. Come on down. They have a great selection right now. I don't know if they got a shipment in last week, but whatever the case may be, oh, banging fish. We're talking fire. I'm obviously in the saltwater section of Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Now, with that being said, we're gonna pick up our little saltwater creatures for the 10 gallon nano saltwater aquarium at home. Now, I bet you guys are probably wondering what I'm gonna get, right? Hmm, inquiring minds wanna know. Matter of fact, I think I have enough footage in here to make a part one and a part two. Maybe I save that part two footage for the next video and you guys just enjoy this part one. What do you say, Ohana? Do you want me to do that? Give you guys a part one and part two? Give you that cliffhanger that I always drop on you? <laughs> don't, don't worry, I'm not gonna do that to you guys, all right? Everything's gonna be in this video, okay? So we're gonna get home, we're gonna YouTube teleport back home, acclimate these beautiful saltwater creatures that we have for our saltwater nano tank, and then I'll reveal what we got, all right? So I guess from uh, me to you, we'll see you guys in a second. But for me, it'll be about a 50 minute drive back home. So here we go for that Aloha Hawaiian Punch teleport. I'll see you guys in a second. Whoo, just like that, we are back home within a snap. Whoo, that was a long drive, but for you guys, it was just a couple seconds. Now, right behind me here is my Innovative Marine Nuvo 10 gallon saltwater aquarium, nano style. Now, before we actually add these beautiful creatures to this aquarium, I did a couple things. I tested the water with my API Saltwater Master test kit, and then also I used my HANA Digital salinity tester now i want to show you guys what the salinity is reading right now so let me go ahead and grab that flip the camera around and show you guys how easy it is with the hana portable tester and mind you you can buy these items over at aquarium and reptile depot everything you see here on the tank pretty much got from there all right so keep that in mind all of their links down in the description below and a big shout out to the aquarium and reptile depot ohana so here is the salinity tester this is so cool you just turn it on super simple give it a second to power up it gives you the percentage the battery is 98 percent and uh yeah here we go we're gonna go ahead as soon as it's done thinking you can see it there it's gonna give us the temperature of the aquarium and the salinity we want it about 1.025 1.023 as you can see it's reading 1.022 which is actually perfect for fish now it would be a little bit different if you were keeping corals in here but this is going to be a tank full of fish only in this saltwater aquarium we're not going to have any corals um i mean not yet anyways also it is super hard to keep corals in a smaller aquarium which is the old small aquarium rule right more water volume easier to keep fish less water volume harder to keep corals <laughs> It's 79.6 degrees. This bad boy is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. And then what I like to do is just, you know, give it a little rinsey rinse in, in some RO water. And then I'll dry it up and put it away back in its container. Make sure that's dry. That's just what I do, you know, to each his own. We have two bags floating in the Innovative Marine Nuvo Saltwater 10 gallon Nano Aquarium. Ohana, you guys ready? All right, these guys have been acclimating for, I don't know, at least 30 minutes now. So we're gonna go ahead and reveal these. I'm gonna go ahead, put them in the aquarium, and then we are gonna come back with a, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll drop a saltwater B-roll, the first one ever on my channel. And you guys can't see the fish. Whoo, just like that, Ohana, we do have fish. Oh, 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 what is that in the background there? What do you guys see right there? Oh, my poor little guy. He's probably a little stressed getting used to the aquarium too as well, but he's not colored up as he should be, but that is the yellow Watchman Gobi. He's so freaking cool. Let's see if we can get a better angle of him on the side here. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing, buddy? So full of color, his yellow 
is going to be so banging. As we zoom out here, we're gonna come around. We are going to zoom in down in this little cave here because this pistol candy striped shrimp is going to work. Look at him, that's him digging. That's him shooting all that sand out. It's super cool because these two work hand in hand. There's a reason why I got them both uh, together and the first duo in the aquarium. Oh, look at him, super cool. He's digging underneath that rock. Don't worry, the rock's not gonna fall in or concave because we made sure it was stable before we even put uh, substrate in. But look at him, look how he just shoots that sand out. It's so cool. And sometimes you'll hear a clicking sound. That's what the pistol shrimp, it's like, that's why it's called pistol. It sounds like a little gun. It like goes click, 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 you'll hear it. And uh, they work hand in hand. You guys may be asking, well, what do you mean they work hand in hand? Um, I'm gonna let the expert tell you, which is my boy Jason over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. So let me go ahead and run that clip for you. Uh, Jason, go ahead and explain to the Ohana how these two work hand in hand. As the watchman goby gets his name because it watches out while the pistol shrimp digs. So you'll hear a clicking sound sometimes and the pistol shrimp can kind of click and then spit water out to protect the watchman as well. Whoa, that's so cool. Isn't that fascinating about the yellow watchman goby and the uh, candy pistol stripe shrimp? Pretty cool, right? So I can't wait to maybe get some footage of these two working hand in hand together. That'll be super cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna let these guys get used to the aquarium, let them get settled in. I can't wait to see the interaction. And don't worry, Ohana, we're still gonna add more to this aquarium. Not much more because it is a 10 gallon aquarium, but we are gonna add some more here. Uh, I wanted to start off with these two duos. So man, I love the fact he just shoots that sand out. It's so cool the way it shoots out. Look at him. It almost looks like there's a current under the rock, but it's not. It's him digging, shooting that sand out, creating his little home. Super fascinating. Here it is, guys. The innovative Marine Nouveau 10-gallon saltwater aquarium. Well, my Ohana, it is official. I am part of the saltwater Ohana. Now, leave some comments down below. What do you guys think I should stock in this aquarium besides the yellow watchman goby and the pistol, I think it's called a candy pistol shrimp. Yeah, candy stripe pistol shrimp. That's what it's called. Anyways, um, I wanna add a couple more things. I have an idea of what I wanna do. Uh, maybe I might use your idea, so leave a comment down below, but I'm nervous, I'm excited. Uh, the water's on point though, salinity point, everything's great. I got my fingers crossed. I will feed them probably tomorrow. I'm gonna let them rest, get used to their aquarium, uh, turn the lights off and just let them chill. They're stressed out, so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, stay tuned for up and coming videos, uh, the progress on the aquarium. And uh, yeah, everything's working. The skimmer skimming, we got the pump pumping, we got the heater heating, and we have the wave maker creating surface agitation. So everything is on point. And I, I don't know, I'm just super excited. I have a saltwater aquarium. Excited, nervous. We'll see what happens, Ohana. Wish me luck. I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta give a huge shout out to Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Jason, Jeff, the entire staff there. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Uh, you guys are a part of this journey just as everyone else is. You guys got me back into the hobby. I was like the first place to go to when I got my African cichlids. And now we graduated into the saltwater world. So big shout out to Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Citrus Heights, if you guys wanna know any of their information, link Links are down in the description of every video, not just this one. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love and aloha.